I'm a little perplexed that we're watching a movie that is not on Netflix instant, but I'm not complaining, of course, because it's Lord of the Rings! Ah! When people ask me what my favorite movie is, it's usually either uh, Shawshank Redemption or this, i.e. the full trilogy. That may not be fair to have all, say that a whole trilogy of films is my favorite movie, but that's how I feel. It's really all one big movie. Unlike a lot of trilogies, Peter Jackson made three movies that were all one complete film project. Most trilogies, even if they're planned trilogies, they're usually, they make one movie and then they break up and spread to the winds and then they come back together and make another movie. But these, all three were made all at the same time. And the whole gang stayed together and kept working on it until all the movies were done. Um, I'm one of the people who read the books in preparation for seeing the movies. Those books are hard. I've only read the books once though. I didn't even read the like 20 page introduction or the 100 pages of appendices, which is probably a mistake. So there's still a lot of things that, that I don't understand. I know that there's some people who like read the books once a year. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't do that. At the beginning we learned that there were three elf rings, seven dwarf rings, and nine human rings. The movie never tells us what happened to the dwarf rings. I keep forgetting. Like Pulp Fiction a few weeks ago, it's going to be interesting hearing from uh, clubbers who are watching this movie for the first time. It seems no matter how popular a movie is, there's always uh, some people who haven't seen it. And from the reviews I have seen, uh, I think it's great that a lot of people are going straight for the extended version. The theatrical version, which is still available, is certainly serviceable and gets the job done, but the extended versions are oh so much better. I have no idea how many times I've watched this movie, but just to give you an idea, um, my first year of college, my brother and I hosted uh, a movie watching party, whatever, that took place over three Fridays, and we made up programs for it, uh, detailing uh, and giving details about some of the settings and the cast and so forth, and I, met, and I had a whole thing with uh, all the pictures, and so that was a lot of fun, and we had snacks and everything, it was great. A few years later, we hosted another watching party where we uh, revised the programs and brought those back, except this time we watched all three films in one day. And like my brother, I don't really recommend doing that because it really stretches the attention span and it's hard, it is hard to kind of take all the films and all the individual moments in. If you want to try it, go ahead. I remember distinctly, we watched part one, we watched part two, and then when we started watching part three, I could no longer remember having watched part one. I knew we must have but I couldn't remember the experience anymore. It was weird. And finally, last month, Fathom Events hosted uh, the three extended versions in theaters. As soon as I heard about that, I'm like, I don't care how much tickets cost, I'm there. I think one of the best things about the movie is the way Peter Jackson, the director, approaches the special effects. By this point, it's possible to create absolutely any fantastic environment or crazy creature or anything in the computer. The trick is to get the audience to believe that it's real. That's always been the trick, really, but uh, these days it's harder because now people know that you can make anything in the computer. This movie pulls that off at every turn. Even when it's, you've got, you know, giant monsters and wizards, even little things like, you know, tiny people interacting with big people. Um, every, um, every happening. And that attitude carries the movie through. The attention to detail is part of that, and if you can watch the behind the scenes stuff, how much work they put into the mechanics of the weapons, and the settings, and the anatomy of the creatures, and so forth. The biggest and most expensive special effects aren't worth shit if they don't complement the story and the characters, and enhance the movie. If they're just there for their own sake, if they're just there to look cool, then people find it boring, and they're not fooled. So for the movie club, this is Doug, signing off. Oh, and I'm making a second video where I talk a little bit more about the extended versions and uh, discuss a uh, new way of Discover to watch them. So to watch that, click the box right here. See you there.